if you get the breast cancer detected early, like in early stage, like stage one, or even some early, earliest thing like stage zero, like DCIS, those things can be highly curable. But then if you wait until the cancer started to go, especially if it started to um, spread to the lymph node, then the cure rate gets much lower. Or if it starts to spread somewhere else, then that's, you know, um, become incurable. I can think of a couple of patients in the past few months that actually had lump in their breast, did not want to come in because of the COVID-19 um, up until now because the mass is growing, it's actually like yeah. going through the skin. So, you know, there are several of these um, sad cases, you know, I think if you feel anything different in the breast, you know, compared to previously, um, should try to come in and, you know, seek medical attention right away. But cell breast exam can be difficult to women in some women, um, you know, depend on their breast consistency. Some women might have, you know, a lumpy breast to begin with, and it might be difficult to, you know, kind of discern which one is the cancer, which one is not. Um, so it, so bre breast cell exam, it's good, but it's not enough. There is actually the way we can calculate the, the actual risk of patients. Um, there's um, multiple models used in the clinic. Uh, we call it Gale's model. Another one's called Tyrocusics. So depend on, you know, age of menarche, um, you know, how many children did you have, whether you had previous breast biopsy, um, all those things um, can be plugged into the um, calculation and then um, it will come up with the, your, your actual um, lifetime risk of breast cancer. Um, and if you do meet certain criteria like the Gales model, if it's more than 1.66% in five years, that actually would qualify some patient to receive um, what we call chemo prevention. So basically the hormone blocker that we use to help, um, you know, prevent breast cancer from coming back can actually also prevent breast cancer from happening too. And those people can actually help cut down the risk by about 70%. Um, so it, um, it um, you know, like if you're concerned about the risk of breast cancer might be a good idea to discuss with your primary care. They should be able to help you calculate those, those risks. And if you do meet the criteria, it might be a good idea to see the breast specialist um, because depend on the risk besides, you know, consider those um, medication to help prevent um, breast cancer ethnic group actually get different kind of breast cancer. So, um, you know, African-American, young African-American women and um, Latino actually are, are more commonly to get that that aggressive form of breast cancer, that the, the triple negative breast cancer that we talked about, um, you know, it, it's more aggressive and there's not, you know, we don't, unfortunately, we do not have a lot of other targeted treatment that we can use for these women. Um, so yes, uh, with the different ethnic group, they um, basically, like the risk wise is probably not more than, um, you know, um, Caucasian, but on the other hand, the the subtype, like the, the the type of the breast cancer that they get trained to be more aggressive. So um, they, they should seek medical attention earlier. The actual um, radiation dose from the mammogram is quite minimal. It's almost like if you sit under the sun, because as you know, our sun, if you sit outside under the sun, there's also radiation from the sun. So getting that amount of radiation to the breast is, um, you know, the dose of radiation is quite minimal. Um, and so besides having the mammogram and also tomosynthesis, which is that 3D mammogram that we just talked about, um, here at Mayo Clinic, we also have another test called molecular breast imaging, which basically also use the um, small dose of radioactive um, thing that help um, light up the cancer better. Um, and the, that dose of the radiation is also minimal too. It's only, you know, equal to sitting under the sun for a couple of hours.